<laughs> Yo, I'm getting this, Marcus. Step off. That jacket is $1,800. There's no layaway plan. Hey, we're okay, huh? We don't need any help. We don't keep cash in the store. Natural fear of black people. They're programmed. You know, like, watch. Ah! See how frightened you are? Just from a black man screaming now at him? He thought it was the end of the war. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. Before I dive into today's video or today's topic, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well for me. So let's go ahead and dive into today's topic. And so recently they've been promoting a movie that's coming out on Netflix pretty soon. Uh, and it's going to be starring Eddie Murphy and it's called You People. And from the looks of it, it pretty much looks like another version of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner that came out in 2005 that was starring Bernie Mac and co-starring Ashton Kushner. It came across as one of those movies you really didn't need to watch. You kind of already knew how it was going to play out. The white boyfriend is going to be overly white and goofy. He's going to meet the parents and there's going to be some level of awkwardness or some awkward exchanges and some resistance from the black father and by the end of the movie everybody is going to be kumbaya be the home you know what i mean yeah i do and i still got it mm. that was nice yeah real nice okay. as we all know the original guest who's coming to dinner was with sydney portier and his character had to be damn near perfect just to get in the door I'm not intruding to have a couple of minutes with the two of you, if I may. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, doctor. Come on in. And before people jump on me in the comment section, especially people that are biracial and people that are mixed, before y'all jump on me, I'm not getting on people who date other ethnic groups. Not by any means. I'm just giving a critical analysis of the programming and the imagery that's being pushed. And that leads me to this question. When was the last time we saw a movie with a Jerry Seinfeld who was going to be meeting his future son-in-law, Tyrone? Not that we want to see it, but I'm just making a critical analysis. Hollywood has always been used to create our reality, not to reflect our reality. You know, if cinema was truly about the art that reflected reality, we would have seen that already. We would have seen Jerry Seinfeld with a black son-in-law at least a few times already. Because the number one interracial dynamic is going to be a white woman with a black man. That's by far the number one interracial makeup in America. But I'm not saying anything most of you don't already know. And so I'm a huge on-screen Eddie Murphy fan. But something happened to Eddie in the mid to late 90s. Some might say we're not even looking at the real Eddie Murphy. And it seems like the same thing happens over and over again to a lot of our black comedians it seems like at some point during their career or during their way to the proverbial top they seem to have a breakdown or some kind of mental lapse and then they go away for a little bit but when they're presented to the world again or when they're performing again and when they come back it seems like all the life force that they had before has been sucked out of them it happened to Richard it happened to Martin Lawrence it happened to Eddie and it even happened to Dave Chappelle to some degree and I'm not going to get into the whole cloning aspect because I don't think it's productive nor verifiable. But I'll say this. We have eyes and we have ears. And as good and great as some of these individuals still are, they're nowhere close to what they used to be. Eddie Murphy in the 80s and the 90s was making hit movie after movie. Yo, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Stop it! Stop it! Don't do that. More. And not only were they hit movies, most of them were primarily with all black cast. And it was black cinema that we hadn't seen, and we still haven't seen to this day. He had classics like Coming to America, Boomerang, Harlem Nights, Life, just to name a few. And then after that, we start getting the Dr. Doolittles and the Daddy Daycares and the Nutty Professors. Those were okay. 
But you notice Eddie never got back to the Boomerangs or the Harlem Night kind of movies with the all-black cast. Those movies were different because not only was it an all-black cast and not only was it funny, there wasn't any kind of buffoonery in it. Nobody had to dress up as a woman, fart at the dinner table. Who that called my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. <laughs> you know, there was no kind of buffoonery like that. There was a level of sophistication and dignity in those movies. All the predominantly black movies Eddie did after that were going to have a high level of buffoonery in it. And some people might point to the Coming to America Part 2 that came out last year. But aside from seeing some of the original cast, that movie was a shit show. And so the movie You People definitely looks like another dud movie in my opinion. Definitely not looking forward to seeing that one. Eddie does have a few movies that I'm looking forward to seeing. He's got a Beverly Hills Cop 4 coming out. That's one I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. I hope they don't mess it up too bad. And I'm probably one of the few people that actually liked all three of the Beverly Hill Cops movies. I thought the third one was a little weak, but all things considered, I thought it was pretty good. And so I'm definitely looking forward to Beverly Hills Cop 4, if nothing else, just to see what they do. And so I think that's going to be a good spot to go ahead and close out today's video. Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button for me also. My videos have been getting demonetized, it seems like, almost daily. So I definitely appreciate any and all support. And as usual, peace and chaos.